Hello. Hello. We're back. Here we are. And uh, we're uh, we're going to Serbia because the game had or Promod had a new update. Again. Yep. Again. And uh, I picked up a journey from Paris again. Uh, so we'll be doing 15 hours worth of driving um, to for the first part and the next 15 hours. Uh, or should I say this part we'll be doing driving for the first 15 hours then for the next part we'll be doing the, the last bit. We're doing 15 hours? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's long. Nah, it won't be long. So yeah, I'll, I'll be like, other than the people who did all the beta testing and whatever, I'll be one of the first person who have gone to this place. Uh, well, especially on YouTube. Hmm. Novi Sad. That's it? That's what it's called, Novi Sad. <laughs> Well, I have to get petrol no matter what. Basically. Let's see how much you've got. I've oh, got yeah. uh, 1,150 1, and uh, I mean that's how long it is and I've only got 1,063. I love how you sew it in. <laughs> I'm trying to see, I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Get your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> what are you worried about? Look at that, that was perfect. <laughs> oh, I ain't even got a bit closer, look. <laughs> uh, I got a bit closer. And then it went. Ooh. It's because it's turning left. Oh, I'll turn right. Okay, maybe not. Oh. <laughs> it better oh. not find me. Oh. Wow, it find me even though I looked like I was across the line. You well went through the red. No, I was across the line. I had it <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got 200. Uh, 200 in the bank. <laughs> Two hundred pounds? No. <laughs> I was Man. gonna say. Two hundred thousand. So I'll upgrade that. I probably can't visit the truck dealer while doing a job, mm. but And for some reason we're carrying empty bottles. Yeah. I can't even uh afford the truck anyway, so I don't uh. think. So you let's check truck manager. Here they go, Charlotte's. See, like, you can oh, yeah. drive a while on the job. Okay, we'll do that next time because we should have enough by then. Surely. England must be like one of the only countries where you drive on the left. No. I know that what I'm saying is it, it can't be that common, though. No, it's not that common. I don't know any of the ones that drive on the left. Um, Apart from India, you can drive on any side. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know they drove Cyprus, on the left. I, I think. never really noticed. Cyprus. Uh, there's a few, not many. Thing is, none of these places will be in. Euro truck too, which will be a shame. But it would be funny if they put Cyprus in the game. Hmm. It'd be like the second country that you can drive on the left. Well, if you take away the oh, whole of the I UK. Oh, Oops. Oh well, I've already got two damage. That was quick. <laughs> now you're gonna be searching it up in a sec, aren't you? Oh, yeah. See, I, I thought so. 
I like to learn facts while I'm playing. It's only because I bring up something. <laughs> I just bring up something random. <laughs> we end up searching it. Or you just search the country that uh that that we go in. Top ten facts about Serbia. No. Which countries drive on the left? India, oh. Australia, <laughs> Ireland, Malta, Cyprus. Mostly British commonies. At least it wouldn't I be weird Malta then. I was one, but I wasn't sure. It wouldn't be weird then. Could you imagine just driving on the left side? Mm, see. The signs would be confusing though. Oh, there's quite a few. Caribbean islands, Channel Islands, Cyprus, Japan, Hong Kong, India. Isle of Man, Ireland, Jamaica, Kenya, Malta, Malaysia, New Zealand, South Africa, Singapore, Thailand and the UK. When they list Kenya, it's just casual, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Loads of people drive there. <laughs> there probably is people that drive there, but it just because it's an African country, it just doesn't seem <laughs> like there would be anybody doing like driving. Like the Top Gear specials are the things that make me uh, uh, get my facts about these other countries. <laughs> and it, mm. You see the way they went to like South Africa, and it, or, mm. or they did like an African tour, and there were loads of cars. But it's just hard to believe that there would be that many cars. That's all. Yeah, it's British colonies mainly. Speed in offense, for fuck's sake. Oh, I have to get across and as well. Guyana. The only country in South America. Because it was formerly a British colony. It's gonna colony. say, you know, it's not, there's other countries too. <laughs> Just for a joke. <laughs> but then you casually carried on. <laughs> Stars of that saying. Mm. Jesus Christ, I nearly slammed into that car mm. there. I didn't see it in my rear mirror because it was past, but not really. It was slightly past. It was past enough to not see it in the mirror, but it wasn't past the actual window. should have seen the surveys I was doing earlier. It asked me where the tune is. <laughs> and it was asking me like, it, I guess it was like what cities have nicknames for, oh, but right. I, I didn't know any apart from the tune and mm. that was it. Oh, that one's fucking easy. You could ask uh, a people from a different country what the tune means oh, and they'd know. probably know. They're like, I watched Geordie Chore, innit? I doubt that very much. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, people probably wouldn't be able to understand what mm. they're saying if they're from a foreign country. The thing is, some foreign countries just assume everybody from England has a London accent, <laughs> innit? So, like, I bet you any money if. If you got a Polish person, and and if you looked a Polish person in a person from Newcastle in a room, the Polish person would wouldn't be able to understand what the, the person from Newcastle is saying mm. half of the time. <laughs> or like they probably wouldn't think they're English. No, they'd probably say they're Scottish or something. Yeah, what country are you from? Mm. And then they're like I'm from England. I'm just from a tune in it. <laughs> and everyone in Newcastle supports a Newcastle. <laughs> like, nobody supports another football team in Newcastle. Like, the 
Sunderland, then it so. Mm, yeah. It's funny when when I when you watch the start of Geordie Shaw, yeah, um, like basically everybody from that show now has gone. The only person who has stayed is Holly, I think. If she's quit, well, I don't it's know. Quite old. Yeah. They they're bloody like to be honest, they they weren't even fucking what was that? They weren't that like they weren't like nineteen year olds or anything. They're all like mm. sort of like mid twenties, weren't they? And it's embarrassing to know that, that Gaz is in like mm. his he's like thirty one or something and Aaron's like thirty one and they're still they act like they're they're like tw in their twenties still. It's embarrassing, mm. isn't it? Mm. Like, could you imagine? That's like, um, uh, uh, could you imagine hearing your daughter be like, I, I just want to down shots <laughs> and I just want to shag people. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Could you imagine, mm. like, uh, could you imagine your daughter being like that and like having fake surgery? Like, they all have fake surgery, like, they all have surgery. Um, and just stuff like that, it's mad. It would be unbelievable. The thing is, when I watched the Valleys, yeah, it's like Welsh Geordie Shaw, yeah, they actually like did stuff, they didn't like just go out mm. shagging. I don't think they ever went to the club, which is funny. Or like, I think they went to the club every now and then. And, um,. They like they had to do like actual jobs. They weren't just sort of shagging people. <laughs> they were doing jobs, like proper jobs. Also, there was one guy who thought he was like some sick rapper. <laughs> he he actually had like rap songs out and stuff. But I he, I had no idea who he was. He, but I don't think he was that good, really. <laughs> Obviously not. That was the show that Tanisha and, or whatever her name is, and that other Welsh woman, Kaylee, uh, not Kaylee, it, it was Tanisha, I think. You see the woman who, who was in Big Brother a few yeah. years ago? Yeah, I remember yeah, her. The one who's dress split casually. Mm. Yeah, she was in that. That's what, I, what she was in. And you think she shit talked in Big Brother, she shit talked in uh in the valleys hardcore like like holy shit she was uh worse in, in the valleys. Like I know they make them like that, but holy shit. She was like a different completely different character in Big Brother. It was like they abducted her and changed her personality. There's kind of no point in watching it. There is, but not really. Like it's 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 something to watch, but it's like they only made like three series. I'm surprised. I mean, who's gonna watch that apart from you? <laughs> like the valleys, jeez. <laughs> you should see it. No. You would understand what I mean. I'm surprised they even showed it in England. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Uh, they showed it on MTV, ain't it? Oh yeah. Because the channel that has all that type mm. on. Could you imagine MTV shares uh, uh, Geordie Shaw with Catfish? Mm. <laughs> it's just weird, isn't it? Could you imagine going from Catfish to Geordie Shaw? <laughs> Pretty damn mad. I'll get my dad to watch it. I'll be like, Dad, you see you watch Jodie Shaw? You should watch The Valleys. I don't know why they called it that. It's just, I think it's the place they live in. That's just what Wales is known for, is The Valleys. Yeah, and sheep shagging. <laughs> no joke, they got, in one episode, they got uh, a sheep tattoo to their vaginas. Tanisha did, and like four other girls did as well. Mm. 
fucking nasty, isn't it? Could you imagine being the guy to actually tattoo their fannies? I bet he was like, what the fuck is got? It was probably like, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I doing this? That's probably what he was thinking. Like, he was like, this is definitely the first and last time I'll probably end up doing this. Like, uh, having tattoos is meant to be body up, but I don't think showing your vagina uh, is is, uh, is is a good idea, especially mm. when when you have a sheep on it. <laughs> this is mm. weird. That's like if I got a tattoo on my dick, <laughs> on like the side of my dick, innit? Mm. That's just weird. Do you remember that guy had like a Thomas the Tank Engine <laughs> tattoo on his dick or something like that? Like that was fucking random. Weren't that on like ta tattoo fixes or something? Like that, yeah. Other than the the sheep tattoo, that is probably one of the maddest tattoos I've seen, just because it's funny. Mainly getting done when they're drunk, I swear. Yeah, I don't. They weren't drunk. They were just dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking about that program. I'm talking about like on tattoo fixes. Yeah. Most of them get it done when they're drunk, so at least they've got an excuse. Yeah, I know. I would never. To be honest, I'm I'm not really fussed about getting a tattoo, but I mean, I'd never ever get a tattoo uh, unless I actually wanted to get one. <laughs> Especially wouldn't get one when I'm drunk. No. The thing is, I don't know how these ideas come up. Oh, let's get a tattoo while we're <laughs> shit faced. What a good idea! Like, how do they let people tap? How? It's usually done abroad. They don't care. Yeah, that's true. Actually, you, I was just you about be able to say. You won't get it done here. Pardon? You won't be able to get it done here. If yeah, you're no. That's what I was gonna say. I was just about to say how they let them get it too. Mm. But yeah, I didn't think about just a random foreigner tattoo to in them. The thing is, as well, it's it's usually people who only have like one tattoo in it, mm -hmm. and that's their only tattoo as well. Have you noticed? Sometimes mm. you, it's always like their first tattoo they get when they're drunk, isn't it? Like, uh, I'm trying to turn you, bastard. That took so long to turn over. I wasn't expecting it. That was all. You see American kids, would they be going back to school today? Or are they all back? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what their seasons are. I don't they know. They don't either. have the same holidays as us. I didn't think so. Because they have like Labour Day and shit, whatever that means. Like, I didn't. I don't really know what that is. No, I don't know what that is. I think they, they must celebrate. They just have different. It's having, not like it. Yeah. I know you usually see it in like calendars and stuff, isn't it? I could have gone down there, but it wouldn't have made a difference where that no. I'd have gone, so. Like, it's just the side road that puts you back onto the mm. motorway anyway. this hmm. like, I don't know what company that is no. I don't know why they'd want to get stuff from France to Serbia <laughs> yeah there's this guy here he does these videos yeah he usually does them like like three days I was talking about it this morning where he camped on a hill in in Austria. Yeah. He's been doing these videos here where he just sleeps in random places and like 
doing set stuff or whatever mm. and his channel's blown up he went from like 400,000 like a month ago to, to like 900,000 huh. that's fucking mad isn't well, it it's because he sleeps in tents <laughs> no he doesn't sleep in tents I mean he's been doing all random stuff oh. he, he the first one he did was he slept uh, I think he slept on, a, on his roof that was like what started it then he slept he, he slept like on a tree uh on like a a tree house mm. he slept in a hot tub that was the weirdest one he slept oh, that actually that wasn't the weirdest one he slept you see though when you go on holiday and they let you go into like those ball things ball uh, things yeah they put air into it and you oh, just like run around. Yeah, yeah. Those big sp- sphere, sphere things. things yeah. He slept in one <laughs> of them on on a lake. For some reason, it obviously it was attached to a rope. Mm. Otherwise, he would have died. <laughs> depending on uh, depending on what sort. Of, if it was like a river, if you mm. get what I mean. That was I couldn't get across, but I couldn't move there. Um, but yeah, like, uh, what else has he done? He slept on a, on a fucking the tallest mountain in Austria, hmm. I think. Uh, he slept in a in a freezer. <laughs> he did. He slept in a freezer, and and the freezer like gave him like hypothermia. Well, yeah. <laughs> but of course I know, but. He's, surely he must have known. Yeah, he's the kind of dumb person to do that. Uh, he slept in his in a car, like in his car. It's random, isn't it? Mm, Some of the stuff. Yeah. The thing is, that the videos are entertaining because he's been like, he can, he he sometimes like gets told off and stuff. <laughs> so it's funny. Fuck. <laughs> there we go. It looked like it was telling me to go up yeah. that road. That was all. What else did he do? He slept in a woods with no food or no drink or anything. And like, he he like kept hearing like sounds and he had like his neck all bitten and stuff. Yeah. Like from mosquito bites mm. or not mosquito bites, but like yeah. You see when you get bitten. Pretty damn random, isn't it? It's just just like, he usually starts it at like seven, and then he finishes at like eight in the morning or something like that. Like obviously he takes stuff with him, like his phone and that, mm. and, and like stuff to do. But I mean, he I think he said yeah one of the hardest. The hardest one to do, which you'd think would be the easiest, was uh, being in a hot tub, because the problem was yeah is is he couldn't move his head up out yeah, of yeah. the thing because of how cold it was. Yeah. So like even though the water was bubbling the whole time, yeah, he he couldn't like move his head out of the water um, because it was that cold. Could you imagine? Also, his girlfriend is casually a trained nurse, which is kind of <laughs> funny. I mean, I'm not sure how well that will help out <laughs> because obviously, like, that in Austria they do like different courses. His like girlfriend's Austrian, and that's why he went to the oh, right. mountains. I'm not sure. Obviously, like, because the, the every course is different in every, whatever country you go to, it might be different. Pretty I guess much the same. You yeah. Save a life. <laughs> but you, you don't know, innit? You just don't mm. know. So yeah, like whenever he does something dumb, she's usually there watching him just in case. Yeah. It, it, could you imagine just doing that and getting thousands mm. of subscribers? Also, he, like, mails himself, but I'm not sure <laughs> if they're legit. 
it's hard. It's hard to give her an opinion because you want it to be legit. Mm. The chances of you mailing yourself and not being caught. Yeah, I mean, you'd go to that's, for that. that's the thing, though. I'm sure. That's the thing, and he's done it like three times. So. Especially for like terrorism and stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. I want it to be real, but mm. but like. If it isn't real, then it's kind of like disappointing because the videos were entertaining. Hmm. Better get up this hill. <sighs> oh, I pressed. I was gonna say, where the frick am I? Like, what the hell? They've just added new cities, I think. Hmm. These two, they look like new cities because I've never seen them before. Clearly, they're going to do something there. Yeah. But what what that is, I have no idea. Yeah, look, London, Derry, Sligo, Belfast. Let's see. While we're here, because I feel like it, let's uh, look, let's show some of the new places. Mm. The, the, I think this is a new place here. Yeah. Um, obviously, like, the, the some of this lot here is new. And, like, this is, like, Russia, I think, or something like that. So, like, some of this is new. I think some of these German cities are new. And obviously, like... Obviously, because they, like... Oh, yeah. Canterbury is new. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Folkestone's new. Uh, there's something else that's new. Fishguard here. Oh, yeah. And H Hollyhead. Hollyhead. And like Stranraer's new, Dumfries, that place there, <laughs> that place, stuff that I can't say is new. I think this is new as well. It's hard to tell though. Mm. Yeah, I thought I'd go through that so people want to know what's new, they can now. <laughs> and also, they've rebuilt like some cities. So, like, the cities I've been to, they're different, some of them. Yeah. Like, if I've already been to them. So, like, say they might have changed London, I don't know, but they might have done that. Mm. That's a weird bridge, isn't it? <laughs> it goes yeah. up and down. Holy, because Ireland Serbia was the game that I put on last night. Hmm. And weird, it, yeah. Ireland's a new city in this game, so it's Serbia, and I'm mm. going to Serbia right now. Yeah, they probably have different road signs in other countries as well. So, mm. so like, you can get you might get mixed up with the road signs at first, especially because they ain't in English. <laughs> like, it, depending mm. on where. Fuck, I didn't see that. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> especially if you go. Oh fuck! It put one damage on. Uh, especially if you go to a different country, like if like that's not English speaking uh, like that's not like like some countries on their signs they have it in like their language and English mm. but not all of them do like I'm not sure about road signs but like when you have signs it at shops and stuff sometimes and it suppose it depends if it's in a touristy part mm, could be I want I wouldn't say they have touristy parts in Poland though <laughs> country has a touristy part like main cities that people go to 
I wonder what would be the main tourist city they'd go to in Poland. Because if it was the okay, um... one I went to, it'd be interesting. Oh, oops. I just couldn't slow down. I had the parking brake on and everything. That was well weird. But yeah, like... Yeah, that would be hilarious if the touristy part that I went... Uh, that I went to... To... If it was tourist. I can't remember where you went. Uh, Gdansk. Hmm. It's, um, it's Krakow one. Pardon? Krakow? Krakow, Krakow. Krakow. When I went, yeah, there, there was English people on the beach, funnily mm. enough. People do go on holiday in places. Yeah, I Krakow, know. Krakow, Warsaw. I know, it was just funny, that was all. It's kind of like when you see someone you know walking past you, and it. Fuck me! Look how close I was there. Hmm. It's what. It... Uh, do you know why it's so hard to like break and stuff? Because it said it's an oversized load, oversized load when I picked it up, hmm. and like there was stuff that I had to reach, but. But I was just like, whatever, I'll be able to deliver it, of course. And that might be the thing that's making it, like, really hard to, like, drive. Mm. <laughs> that was one of the weirdest turnings I've ever... Those lights are in strange places because there's no lines. That's what. Across. That's why you see I'm fucking up all the time, because it's like, why put no lines there when mm. when people are driving? That's why I fucked up the original time. You see the original time, I I couldn't stop. It was because mm. I wasn't expecting there to be lights. Apart from the fact that I saw a bloody coach in, just weird, in no front way. of me, or a truck in front of me, just stopped in the middle of the road, wondered what was going on. was nice it's but I think it's putting me back on to where I drove off of <laughs> need to put the lights on soon yeah eight o'clock no it hasn't put me onto the same road oh the road I was on was here oh mm. still could be going on there <laughs> yeah well, I am so maybe it was just a quicker way in it one of the dodgiest turnings I've ever seen. He like slowed down <laughs> and then turned.
spell. <laughs> it, it's hard moving the keys around. <laughs> There's not like a city coming up that I have to go through. No. There was an interview because an English, uh, like a 17 year old English player, casually uh, lives in Germany. A mm. guy who plays for like England's under 19s is just in Germany chilling at Stuttgart. It was like there's not much media attention here, <laughs> which is nice because I can yeah. just get, get on with playing football. Yeah. Something like that. It's because the only reason why that guy got the interview was because uh, a youth a uh, guy played for like Man City's youth team left to go to Dortmund. That was literally the only reason why he got the interview. You can tell because they they started focusing on young people, young English footballers out uh, abroad after the selling mm. of that guy. So they sold him for quite a lot of money, I think. That's funny. Like a few months before that, he said he was homesick and he wanted to go back to London. Then he casually gets, mm. casually goes to Dortmund. Cause it's like a Man City player. Everyone was getting like mad. They probably won't even remember him in like a few years mm. time. There's like this Icelandic team who do like the best celebrations. They had like the fish one and all that mm. that I showed you once. Made me go off the motorway just to come back on again. George, well, I don't know why it's pointless. It's because it's quicker, apparently. <laughs> the GPS will always go for mm. a quicker route. That's why sometimes it tells me to go around the petrol station. There was one time where that actual petrol station was faster than the motorway once. <laughs> 
it like it like cut off like a a bit of motorway it did when I went round the petrol station mm. one time because it went on from one to another instead of me having to like loop all the way around. It was weird. Mm. It's one of the weirdest uh, GPS navigation places it sent me like. income 5,000 that's not bad yeah it's a lot lot more than they've got me recently yeah I think I have to carry on I, um, I don't think it's telling me to go right minutes. Telling me to go up here. And then on again, probably. Yeah, probably. Should it not? No, Sending it's me not. down to a different <laughs> one for once. Well, I've gone down the wrong bit, but it doesn't matter because I think it was making me go straight anyway, so. Cities, oh, sort of. That one's making come off and on. Yeah, it is. I like to follow it because if I didn't and mm -hmm. it, it makes me turn off then I'd have to go longer in it mm. so that would be safe then sorry and all that I'm gonna go and get petrol sometime maybe like the next stop you can never tell when there's going to be a petrol station in pro mod they're not as frequent as the normal euro truck mm. map bigger areas and all that well sadly if you're sad <laughs> this is where this is gonna end this part so see you later see ya